I don't think anyone really knows what happened for certain. Something big, that's for sure. So I am alive. It's a new take on the survival genre. We're trying to do a mature survival uh, post-apocalypse adventure. We're trying really to tackle this genre from an angle that is much more realistic than what has been done previously. Like it or not, the world has changed. If you want to stay alive, you're going to have to adapt. The character arrives at his uh, hometown after uh, one year after the event has uh, devastated this part of the country and he doesn't have a clue whether his family is still alive or not. Then the dust and the fumes killed everything. Well, almost. Key elements of this game experience are the, the exploration and the, basically the climbing system that allows you to, uh, to move around this destroyed environment. You have a stamina system that is really important, makes you care for your character. You have to care about your every move because your character gets tired over time and uh, basically every resource is, uh, has become very rare and uh, you have to pay attention to, to the food you find and uh, when you eat it. Never know what you'll find in the ruins of an old skyscraper. Some stuff you come across you won't have a use for, but you can barter with it. We're trying to put the player in a constant uh, uh, mood of uncertainty and uh, unpredictability. So. Sometimes you will meet uh, characters and uh, they might be aggressive. And the interactions here is not about uh, uh, traditional shooting games like you might have against zombies or this kind of, of or, or soldiers. You know, it's really just people like you and me trying to survive. And in some cases, some of them are really aggressive, then you might have to fight. And here, it's not so much about aiming and shooting, it's more about uh, choosing when to use your weapons. You have very few ammo. It's all about, uh, again, it's all about lacking resource. So uh, use your bullets wisely, show your weapon only at the right moment and you might survive. You will meet some victims also, you have the possibility to help them, but uh, it's, al it's always a choice from you because it's some stuff that you have in your inventory that you might decide to give them or not. And uh, if you help them, they will deliver some story information or they will, they will also give you uh, one more retry. Retry systems are important in the game because it basically it helps you. If you die, you don't restart from too far. You restart from the checkpoint. Don't worry, it's going to be exciting. How to deal with uh, combat in this game is very special. Uh, basically, the people also have few weapons and have few bullets, you have to pay attention to when you show your gun. As soon as you show your gun, you, the people in front of you will consider you as an enemy and they might try to kill you. When you get surrounded by a group of thugs, you have to assess the situation and see whether you have to fight and if you have to fight, acting, acting, acting quick and uh, take the proper action because in a few seconds it might be, uh, it might be done. What are you doing here, boy? I don't much like uninvited guests. I'm gonna beat your skull like a drum. So the game is releasing on XBLA as part as the as part of the house party program, which means it's gonna come very soon, and uh, then it's gonna come to PSN later on. And for now, I am alive.